This week, the Royal Irish Regiment start their deployment to Afghanistan. The battalion will spend the next six months in central Helmand at Nad Ali, the focus of Operation Moshtarak earlier in the year. Fiona Weir travelled to their base at Turn Hill as the troops were receiving the last of their new kit and sorting out the final admin. Putting the finishing touches to their training, these Irish soldiers will over the next month head into theatre. They'll be part of a thousand strong battle group, which includes a company of Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders, five Scots, Irish guards and engineers, signals and artillery specialists. It's the biggest battle group the Royal Irish Regiment has been part of since Korea. For the commanding officer, it'll be his first complete Herrick tour. I'm very privileged um, and, and delighted to, to be in this position, um, especially of a battalion that is, uh, that is so operationally experienced. Um, and because of the intense period of training that we've, uh, we've been going through over the last six months or so, um, we're very ready. Deploying together are the Mahwini twins from Balamina and the Hicks brothers from Fermanagh, alongside Captain Jeff Herbert and his two sons, John and Luke. Mixed feelings, very, very proud. And then you obviously got that concern that we're all out there together and that's always going to be there at the back of your mind when they're on the ground. But at least, I suppose, I'm in the same theatre of operations as they are. Alongside the regulars are 72 TA soldiers and officers of the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Irish Regiment from Portadown in Northern Ireland. They've been training since March and are more than ready for the job ahead. The integration into one Royal Irish was absolutely seamless. It helps that the 1st and 2nd Battalion are very, very closely linked um, with, with personnel and, and with the amount of time that we, we train together. So it's next stop Afghanistan for the members of one and two Royal Irish, but already back here in Northern Ireland, plans are afoot for the homecoming parades in 2011. Fiona Weir, Forces News with the 1st and 2nd Battalions of the Royal Irish Regiment.